Beats the crew, what's up, what's good, it's your girl Jasmine, back on be on the channel, yes ma'am, yes sir, okay, okay, I just want to apologize for the wait, because this was highly requested, alright, um, I just found out who George Carlin was, never heard of the man, like, nothing, usually I, when people say a name, I least heard of it, but I have never heard of him, until somebody brought it to my attention, and I did a video about it, and people was like, oh my gosh, you gotta do this video, you gotta do this video, so, we're here sorry for the wait like i said if you are new to the channel thank you for clicking on this video because you did not have to do it so i appreciate you for clicking and if you a consistent supporter and you watch all my videos i appreciate you you know i rock with you the long way but if you don't know what to do don't forget to like comment subscribe and put your notification bell so you know what i post with that being said life worth losing mm, dumb americans george let's go big fella let's go got some dumb ass motherfuckers <laughs> Dumb ass motherfucker. Oh, is that how you feel? Is that how you feel, George? Now, obviously, that doesn't include this audience. I understand that. You seem intelligent and perceptive, but the rest of them, holy jumping fucking shit balls. Dumber than a second coat of paint. Tell them. Tell them. And this ain't just ranting and raving. This ain't just blowing off steam. I got a little evidence to support my claim. Okay, come on, talk it to me. It just seems to me, seems to me. That only a really low IQ population could have taken this beautiful continent, this magnificent American landscape that we inherited. Well, actually, we stole it from the Mexicans and the Indians, but <laughs> hey, it was nice when we stole it. It looked pretty good. It was pristine. Paradise. Have you seen it lately? Have you taken a good look at it lately? It's fucking embarrassing. Only a nation of unenlightened halfwits could have taken this beautiful place and turned it into what it is today, Man. a shopping mall. Man, he may be stepping on some toes, but hey, we only one minute in and he, he already talking that talk. Come on. A big fucking shopping mall. Come on. You know that? That's all you got. That's all you've got here, folks. Mile after mile of mall after mall. Many, many malls. Major malls and mini malls. They put the mini malls in between the major malls. <laughs> and in between the mini malls, they put the mini marts. And in between the mini marts, you got the car lots, gas stations, muffler shops, laundromats, cheap hotels, fast food joints, strip clubs, and dirty bookstores. America the Beautiful. One big transcontinental commercial cesspool. And how did it Where's the lie? Where's the lie? I'm waiting for it. He He's on point. The people feel about all this? How do the people feel about living in a coast to coast shopping mall? Well, they think it's just fucking dandy. They think it is cool as can be because Americans love the mall. They love the mall. That's where they get to satisfy their two most prominent addictions at the same time shopping and eating. Millions of semi conscious Americans day after day What's shuffling in his through the malls, shopping and eating, especially yeah, eating. Americans love to eat. They are they are fatally attracted to the slow death of fast food. Hot dogs, corn dogs, triple bacon, cheeseburgers, deep fried butter, dipping in pork fat and cheese, uh. mayonnaise, soaked barbecued mozzarella, <coughs> patty melts. Americans will eat anything, anything, anything. If you were selling sauteed raccoons assholes on a stick. Americans would buy them and eat them. That's sad, but true. It's very sad, but it's very, very true at the same time. I'm not going to hold you. I love to eat. I love to eat, but I ain't about to eat just anything. You know what I'm saying? I like to try different stuff. But what he's saying to stay on track? He, come on. Come on, Carlin. Come on, Mr. Carlin. Especially if you dip them in butter and put a little salsa on them. This country is big time, pig time. Forget the bald eagle. You know what the national emblem of this country ought to be? A big bowl of macaroni and cheese. A big bowl, because everything in this country is king size. King size, extra large, and super jumbo. Especially the fucking people. Oh? Have you seen some of the people in this country? Have you taken a good look at some of these big fat motherfuckers walking around? Big fat motherfuckers? George, Mr. George, hey. <laughs> hey, he bold. He bold. Oh my God. Huge piles of redundant protoplasm lumbering through the malls like a fleet of interstate buses. The people in this country are immense, massive bellies, monstrous thighs, and big fat fucking asses. And if you stand there for a minute and you look at one of them, you look at one of them, you, you, you begin to wonder, 
How does this woman take a shit? <laughs> how does she shit? Nah, for real. And even more frightening, how does she wipe her ass? Low key, I agree. Cause even, cause sometimes you see something that's like so unproportionate. It's like, how do you handle all that? It's like, what? That's a lot of stuff back there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, sometimes you do, you do look like that. You like, dang, that's a lot of junk in the trunk. Can she even locate her asshole? She must require assistance. He would hate today. Are paramedics uh, trained American? in this field? And standing right next to her, of course, with a plate full of nachos and a mouthful of pie is her clueless fucking husband, Joe Sixpack. Joe with six his monstrous pack. swollen beer belly hanging dangerously out over his belt, beer belt buckle, this guy ain't seen his dick since the Nixon administration. <laughs> and if you stand there and you look at the two of them, you begin to wonder to yourself, do these people fuck? <laughs> is this man actually capable of fucking this woman? It doesn't seem structurally possible. <laughs> no, I always thought I was a little weird of thinking that. But the fact that Mr. George Carlin himself just thought of that, I don't feel half bad. Because sometimes you do see couples where it's like, huh, that's very interesting. And it's like, interesting. Like, do they really be, you know, like, you really be like, because you really, sometimes you see couples that's like, wow, <clears throat> they're very, you know, different to say, you know, to be nice. But, mm, come on, Carl. That these two people could achieve penetration. <laughs> Maybe they're in that Cirque du Soleil or something. I hear you. I'm telling you, the people in this country, are every half, of, every one of them is 50 pounds overweight. They are gargantuan. And in the summertime, God help us. <laughs> In the summertime, they all want to wear short pants. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Lord, protector of all that is good and holy, deliver me from fat people in short pants. They all got <laughs> short pants, big bellies, fat thighs, and dumb kids. Short pants, oh. big bellies, fat thighs, and dumb kids. Every one of them's got two dumb ass kids with them. And the whole family is wearing t-shirts, and every one of them's got the same t-shirt. I'm with stupid. Apparently in this country, the stupids are an extended family. And besides wearing them t-shirts, everyone in the family's got on a backpack. They got a backpack strapped to their back so they can carry around lots of stupid shit. And the reason they got to carry their stupid shit strapped to their backs is because their hands must remain free at all times to hold food. What, uh, I remember somebody telling me, uh, what year this was, but I forgot. So I need to be reminded what year this was. And, uh, he's, he's gone away, right? He, he done died. Um. I would like to know what year he died. I would look it up, but that's just time consuming for no reason. I know you all would tell me. Just because I know today's today's era, today's time, ooh, he'd be fed up. He'd be, oh my gosh. Because I think this is like early 2000s, right? So just imagine what he would say in today's, like, oh my gosh. And to get that food up to the mouth where it gets shoveled in with all the rest of the disgusting shit they ate that day. And... Another reason for the backpacks is these people are going to buy even more stupid shit. They ain't got enough stupid shit at home. They just had a stupid shit sale. They ain't got to buy more. They're going to go out in the parking lot and stuff this stuff into the big, fat, ugly, oversized SUV that's got plenty of room in it. Plenty of room in it for stupid shit and lots of room left over for these big, fat, ugly motherfuckers to get them home. Stopping, of course, for jelly roll and fried dough. <laughs> these people... These people are efficient, professional, compulsive consumers. It's their civic duty, consumption. It's the new national pastime. Fuck baseball. It's consumption. The only true lasting American value that's left, buying things. Buying things. People spending money they don't have on things they don't need. Money they don't have on things they don't need. So they How many of you all like that? How many of you all like that? I'm very, very, very conservative with my money. Like... I'm very, what's the word? I can't think of the word I'm, uh, I'm thinking of, but when it comes to money, I always, and my, my mindset is I have zero dollars in my account. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I save a lot, but some people I see swipe their card for whatever and don't, don't even care how much they have left whether it's below their budget like i see people who don't even budget and i just be like how do you do that like how are you mentally okay with doing that it's like you never know what could happen you never know what you can eat but sometimes it's a bad to that for me because it's like dang you know what i'm saying spoil myself a little bit 
do this and that but I don't know I'm always thinking about like what if this what if that so I always feel like I have to have something but then again you gotta enjoy life while you're here but how many of you are like this like swipe 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 or if you're like 50 50 let me know they can max out their credit cards and spend the rest of their lives paying 18 percent interest on something that costs 12 50 <laughs> and they didn't great. like it when they got it home anyway silly Silly. Not too bright, folks. Not too fucking bright. Talk to him, But George. if you talk to one of them about this, if you isolate one of them, you sit them down rationally, and you talk to them about the low IQs and the dumb behavior and the bad decisions, right away they start talking about education. That's the big answer to everything. Education. They say we need more money for education. We need more, more, more books, more teachers, more classrooms, more schools. Uh, we need more testing for the kids. You say to them, well, you know, we've tried all of that, and the kids still can't pass the test. They say, oh, don't you worry about that. We're going to lower the passing grades. And that's what they do in a lot of these schools now. They lower the passing grades so more kids can pass. More kids pass. The school looks good. Everybody's happy. That the is very the country true. slips another two or three points. And pretty soon, all you'll need to get into college is a fucking pencil. <laughs> Got a pencil? Get the fuck in there. It's physics. <laughs> then everyone wonders why 17 other countries graduate more scientists than we do. Education. Politicians know that word. They use it on you. Politicians have traditionally hidden behind three things. The flag, the Bible, and children. No Ooh. child left behind. Ooh. No child left behind. Get him, George. Oh, really? Well, it wasn't long ago you were talking about giving kids a head start. Head start, left behind. Someone's losing fucking ground here. Mm. But yeah, I know some people did not like Mr. George. I just know. I can feel it. I just know some people did not like him. But God rest his soul, man, because... I mean, stuff like this is what people need to hear sometimes. Because sometimes you, you need something like, oh, let me wake up to be re in reality. Because some people just be dreaming. You know what I'm saying? Why they living. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason for this. There's a reason education sucks. And it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. Mm. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Mm. Because the owners of this country don't want that. Mm. I'm talking about the real owners now. Mm. The real owners. Talk to the me, big, George. wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Mm -hmm. Forget the politicians. Mm -hmm. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. Mm. You have no choice. Mm. You have owners. They own you. Mm. They own everything. They Ooh. own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And Come they on. own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got. He's saying stuff that don't nobody say, that people are scared to say. So respect to him, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like he's teaching his audience, but also being funny while teaching. And it's like, how many other comedians do that? Well, nowadays, I feel like it's rare with comedians because god forbid you say anything you're canceled so yeah comedians today is not comic um what am i trying to say comedy today is not the same as it was back then totally different crowd today totally different you buy the balls they they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying lobbying to get what they want yep well, we know what they want. They mm -hmm. want more for themselves and less for everybody else. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what they don't want. What? They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They mm -hmm. don't want well-informed, well-educated mm -hmm. people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. <laughs> they don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now Talk. they're coming for your social security Woo! money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know, Yo, what are y'all thinking of this so far? Are, are y'all still here with me? I need y'all in those comment sections. Talk to me in that comment section. Come on now. Talk to me because this is deep. This is deep. It may be stepping on some of some people's toes. And uh, but this is deep. This is this is actually good conversation. This is this is don't feel like a stand up to me, quote unquote. This really feel like a. I'm learning, you know, what I'm saying like I'm, I'm listening. I'm learning like, come on, George, talk to me. Come on. Something they'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club. 
and you ain't in it, <laughs> you and I are not in the big club. By the way, it's the same big club they used to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody seems to notice. Yeah, I think it's nobody rigged. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hardworking people. White collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hardworking people continue. These are people of modest means. Continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't they care don't. about you. They really at don't. All. They really at don't. all. At all. Yeah. You know? And nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on. But the think, fact that Americans will probably remain. But how can you really change that though? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like even when there's when you try to change, it's like it's it's not really a change, you know? So it's like how can you really how can we really change that, you know? Because I feel like it's just it's all out of whack right now willfully ignorant of the big red white and blue dick that's being jammed up their assholes every day because the owners of this country know the truth it's called the american dream because you have to be asleep to believe it Ooh. all right man so y'all gotta let me know what y'all think of this video talk to me about mr george down below any of thoughts comments any other videos you like to see me do um if you've seen george in person let me know how it was i would definitely like to know that but with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, push that notification bell. See you guys next video.